Faithful Bredesen and Marsha Blackburn appeared at what was called an opioid summit just a block from the Capitol here on Friday. I'm acutely aware that the expertise is in this room, not up here at the podium. While doctors, providers, and law enforcement on the front lines of Tennessee's opioid epidemic listened, U.S. Senate candidate Phil Bredesen called the Drug Enforcement Administration defanged by a 2016 congressional law that limited the agency in policing the pipeline of large opioid shipments from drug companies to corrupt health care providers and then to the street. Bredesen supports repeal efforts. And uh, I will tell you that the very first thing that I'm going to do as a new U.S. Senator is to sign on to one of those Senate bills and help to drive this forward and start putting back into the DEA's hands some very basic tools that let it deal with um, with some of these some of these enforcement uh, enforcement issues. Afterwards, before reporters, Bredesen called out his opponent, Marsha Blackburn, for being one of the original congressional sponsors of the 2016 bill and not changing it. When it got caught out and called out by 60 Minutes in the Washington Post and, and a bunch of attorneys generals around the country, she said, oh, this was an unintended consequence and we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. Well, that was 300 odd days ago. Nothing's happened. Representative Blackburn offers a different take on the issue, her side of the story on Tuesday. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard, Local 24 News.